Subscribe to Crossword Gaming on Patreon, link in the description below. So Nintendo just streamed an indie showcase and I wanted to touch on a few of the games that I thought stood out. The presentation was only about 10 minutes long, so I encourage you to go watch it on Nintendo's YouTube channel before watching this. Then come on back over here and let me know what your thoughts are and if you agree or disagree with anything I had to say. The presentation starts out with a reveal trailer for Mark of the Ninja Remastered. I have this for Xbox 360 and I loved it, though I never beat it. Now that my 360 is packed away in a box somewhere, it might be nice to have this readily available. Plus the portability makes it that much more accessible. I know, everyone mentions this every single time they talk about what they like about the Switch, and it makes us all sound like broken records, but it really is that big of a deal, and I think people who haven't actually experienced it for themselves kind of shrug it off. So fans of the console feel like they have to bring it up every time. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Fantasy Strike looks like a really good 2D fighter. They say it's easy for people who are new to fighting games to pick up. I prefer 3D fighters like Tekken or Soul Calibur. Well, and I also like Smash Brothers. But this looked interesting enough that I'll at least be following it and might even buy it if the price is right. The next few games looked really weird. Some in a good way, others in just a weird way. Shapes and Beats was a strange concept, but I like music games, so this will probably be something I check out. Garage is a gritty twin stick shooter by Tiny Build Games. They did Mr. Shifty, which you can actually get for free on PC right now if you're a Twitch Prime member, so make sure you check out that 30 day free trial we've got linked in the description below. They also did Speedrunners, No Time to Explain, and Hello Neighbor, which I've been wanting to try out and just haven't gotten around to. Garage probably isn't something that's going to interest me much, but I know a lot of people who will be very excited for it. Then there was Pool Panic, a very odd looking adventure game where you're playing pool, and I actually think that you are specifically the cue ball. It's strange looking. It's by Adult Swim, so it's going to be friggin' weird. I got excited for Lumines Remastered, but then I realized I was thinking of a different game called Meteos that was on the Nintendo DS. I loved Meteos. I haven't played Lumines, so I don't really have an opinion on it, but it looks like it's probably alright. Lightfall looks awesome! Like it's a 2D platformer where you create blocks out of thin air to traverse the environment. It looks very fast paced and difficult. This is definitely one I'll be checking out. I love this kind of thing. They said there's going to be speed runs and leaderboards, so this is right up my alley and I'm really excited for it and I can't wait to play it. West of Loathing was a thing. It stood out because of the art style, but I'm not sure it's something I'll care about. Now my son likes almost anything that is done with stick figures, so as long as it's child appropriate, I might pick it up for him. The presentation ended with the announcement that Banner Saga 3 is coming to Switch this summer, and that sometime before that, the first games are getting ports to Switch. I've never played a Banner Saga game before, but I know they're popular, so I'm glad Switch owners will get a chance to play them on the go. I know there were a few more games mentioned, but these were the ones that stood out to me for one reason or another. There was that 8-bit looking game, and the one where the chicken lays bombs, and those look like they might be fun time wasters, but probably nothing I would actually pay money for. Of course, a few of the ones I called out, I probably wouldn't pay money for either. All in all, this indie showcase was about what I expected. A list of good, solid indie developed games coming to what is becoming the place for indie developers to port their titles. And I love that Nintendo is giving these games a huge spotlight. It's good to see my favorite console manufacturer finally building strong relationships with outside developers. So tell me what you think down below in the comments, and as always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, and please visit Crossforge Gaming at any of the links we have listed below.